Exchanging money is complicated, and you always worry about how much money you lose on transfers. How do you know you're getting a fair exchange on your currency? Well, for over 20 years, OFX has been the leader in making this process accessible to everyone, in an easy to use service supported by technology, and is the standard for cloud-based APIs for exchanging financial data internationally. They offer transfers in more than 50 currencies. They're listed on the stock exchange. Now it was time for them to innovate beyond their product, but for their website too, with a migration of Sitecore to WordPress. Welcome XWP with hosting partner Pantheon. Tonight we've got the pleasure of having the head of marketing of OFX, Sebastian Pardosi, to join us. Good evening and welcome to the XWP Tonight Show. Good evening, Sebastian. Welcome to the show. Good evening. Thank you for having me. This is a great honor to be here with you, Amit. Likewise. Um, Sebastian, to begin with, the goal of OFX is really to simplify financial exchange tech for your customers. How does that translate into your need to simplify the technology of your website for your own team? Yes, yeah, so as you said, we aim to make transfers really as easy as possible. So when it comes to our team, it means that our platforms need to be able to support constantly being evolved, updated, and optimized to help us help our clients. And so in particular on our public side, it means that we really need to be able to make changes at speed and scale, run A-B tests, deliver those optimizations quickly so that both OFX and the client can see those benefits basically as soon as possible. And so that's how we really rely on technology and our platforms. And this is what drove the initiation of this project, right? Like to move from uh, Sidecore that you uh, were dealing with before and then the move to WordPress. Um, how would you say that the experience has been to, in comparison from Sidecore and moving to WordPress? Yeah, so... We found that, you know, Sitecore is a very sophisticated kind of all-in-one type marketing platform. And when it was first brought into the business, there was a very different use case for, for what we have now. And so we found that sort of what kicked this off was we, we just weren't using a lot of the features and functionality that Sitecore has. And so it was really quite, um, th there was a lot of redundant effort that was going into managing a platform where we just were only using, you know, 15% or 20% of the features and functionality that we had. So the decision to move to WordPress, obviously, it was a much leaner platform. It really enabled us to focus on building just the website without worrying about the other parts of the platform that we just weren't using and having to manage the other parts of the platform that we just weren't using because we weren't really set up to, to manage the whole thing. We needed something that really delivered just a website, not all of the other things that were bolted onto it as well. So while well, it's, like, oh, it's, a, it's a great platform and it has its place, for us as a business, our needs changed and we really just needed to focus on building a, a fantastic website that was really easy to optimize, maintain, update without having to worry about significant sort of operational overhead to, to keep it running. And that brings it right back to that first word, right? Simplifying it. You're simplifying it for your team and, and how you use it and how you manage it long term. I always see these projects. It's not just about that first project. It's about how is this going to run as part of OPEX? How are you going to keep running your operation of the project? Now that you are on WordPress, um, looking at it reflectively, what are perhaps three things that OFX has gained by moving uh, to WordPress? So I think the, the one thing definitely is just that simplification of, of sort of everything related to the, to the website. When I say the simplification, I mean the simplification in running and maintaining the website. So whether it's you know, updating content or managing the platform or making code changes or doing deployments or whatever it might be, because we've really taken that kind of simple first approach to maintaining the platform, it has meant that pushing things out to market, optimizing, giving clients new experiences, 
all of that has just become so much quicker and driving that efficiency really by simplifying everything down. And, you know, obviously even things like partnering with you guys at XWP to, to provide our specialist WordPress resources, partnering with Pantheon to do our hosting, like that's sort of been the main thing that has really driven that efficiency for us. Um, I, I think probably the other key things that we've taken away since we moved to WordPress is probably the flexibility um, because it's the way that we've built it sort of from the ground up, again, keeping with that simplicity in mind, it's very hard to keep it simple. But obviously now that we have kept it sort of quite simple under the hood, it means that when we want to add new features, update things, it's not a bigger than Ben-Hur project. We can actually do things quite modularly and add features and functions and sort of just bolt them on as opposed to having to make really foundational changes. I love that. It really sounds like not only is it uh, simpler, but you've really taken more ownership of the site, right? Like there's not this fear of, I don't want to touch it because I might break it, right? Yeah, exactly. It's meant that we can really empower the teams. Part of that simplification was even around like, you know, roles and permissions inside the platform and that type of thing. So we've really empowered the team to go, you know what? Here's your section of the website. You can look after, you know, blog posts or daily commentary or whatever it is. And then the team can just go in and do whatever they want. And we know that the the guardrails are in place, that they're not going to break things or they're not going to accidentally, you know, bring the site down or anything like that. That's awesome to hear. Um, I just want to say, firstly, thank you so much for being on the show tonight and but for being a great partner for us. Uh, XAP has really appreciated the partnership that it has with OFX and hope to continue it for many, many more years. Fantastic. And thanks to the XWP team again. We speak extremely highly of the XWP team over and over within the office. So thank you for being a good partner as well to you and the rest of the team. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you next time.